Hey, we're looking at binary addition in this video, so just adding two binary numbers together using the same method pretty much as we do with deanery or decimal like you would have learnt back in primary school probably. So the key thing is you must carry numbers when you do deanery and the same is true for binary. So for example, if we got maybe like 97 plus 14, well 7 plus 4 is going to be 11, so you write down the 1 and carry a 1 as well. And so 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11, so again we write down a 1 and carry the 1, basically put it here and then we get 111 as our answer. So we have two carries in this, and so we're actually, the important bit is, we, we started off with two digits each and now we've ended up with three because it's overflowed uh, out of our allocation. So in terms of how we actually do the carry, you've got to be a little bit careful because we're doing it in binary, which is unfamiliar. So we have a few rules, so 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1 and vice versa, so these are just these three are just normal addition. Then the actual carry comes in. So you have one plus one. You write down a zero and carry a one. So this leads, or this can lead to like a, a fifth rule, which um, so, you know doesn't really count. So if you had three ones because you've carried a one, and then you have, so if you've carried a one into a one with two ones, so the answer, what you write down here is you write down a one and carry a one. And the reason why this isn't really a rule is because you can kind of reduce this to being 0, carry a 1, plus 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and you carry a 1. So kind of like a separate rule. But when you have 3 ones, you write down a 1 and also carry a 1. But with 2 ones, you write down 0 and carry a 1. So three examples here in binary then. The first one, let's do 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Again, 0 plus 1 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 0, and we carry a 1. So again, we're kind of exceeding our initial allocation. So for the second example, you've got to be a little bit careful because there's different lengths. You've just got to make sure you line it up properly. So these may as well be leading zeros. Um, we don't need to write them in unless you want to. And then 0 plus 1 is 1. Again, write down a 0, carry the 1. Write down a 0, carry the 1. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. And then we can write down for rest. So this is our answer. So for the third example, let's tackle three at a time. So of course you could just do the first two and then add on this to the result. But for example's sake, let's do it the harder way. Uh, and these rules go out of window slightly when you do this, but we can adapt. So basically, well, let's first of all just convert these to decimals so we know what we're looking for and just uh, can check it at the end. So this is going to be 14 plus 15 plus 6, which is 35. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, it's hard to do as neatly, but it's important to try and line it up as well as you can. So, okay, so first of all, starting from right to left, 0 plus 1 plus 0 is just 1, pretty normal. But then we have our 3, so we know we have to write down 1 and carry a 1. Now we have 4 of those, so this is where things get different. And like I did up here, you kind of take it as a pair. So first of all, we've got 1 plus 1 here, so normally we'd write down 0 and carry a 1, so we need to kind of keep the 0 in our head, so this is kind of gone, it's now 0, but we've carried a 1 into the next column. Now we have 0 and then 1 and 1, so 1 and 1, We'd write down again, it's the same, so we'd write down 0 and carry another 1. So basically we've got two zeros here, 0 plus 0 is 0. And now we've got 4 again, unfortunately we cannot ignore this 0. So the first two, the same process, we carry a 1 and take this to be 0. Then do the same, carry another 1 and we've got 3 zeros once you kind of collapse it. So then 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. So we've carried quite a few times here, it started off in this column and gone all the way to the end. So to check this, this is the 32 column and this is the 2 and 1 column. So 32 plus 2 plus 1 is 35. So we have got the correct answer, even if it's uh, not a very fun way to do it. But to be honest, the main purpose of me doing that example is because it overflows beyond our initial allocated lot. So if we only have um, a nibble in memory, that's all we've got allocated to us, and we do this calculation and we end up with six bits being used we've had what's known as an overflow error. So basically, in a computer, if we only had a limited amount of memory, these bits would get lost. So we're left with 0, 0, 1, 1. So we're left with 3 as our answer to this calculation because you haven't got unlimited memory. You only get allocated so much memory in a computer. So that is called an overflow error. And we come across overflow errors in other parts of the course as well. But the basic fact is that you haven't got enough memory space to complete the calculation. And so the answer given is wrong. So clearly this is quite a serious error, especially if you've got subsequent calculations to follow, especially if they're for a purpose which is which needs to be accurate. So the way the processor might deal with it, it's got something called a status register, which may be, let's just say, four bits for the sake of it. Um, and, and there are for different things, like one might be a carry flag, one might be an overflow flag, and various things. So the overflow flag might get set to one 
if there has been an overflow and you can kind of keep track of it that way. So I'd recommend you practice this, make up examples for yourself, challenging ones, and then you can practice another aspect too by converting to decimal and making sure you're correct.